be resolved when right. we are staying. Right. So I am mean, going to have one of the main aspects here. The, yung Moon Digital. Digital Moon. Uh, what is Moon Digital? I understand it's a holistic approach right. to make every Buhulano part of uh, progress, development, right. everything. Go pakiyan mo lang to make, to make every Buhulano part of the digital technology and to make uh, the technology available. Mm -hmm. And likewise, uh, uh, with the help of our telcos and um, uh, our information highway, as soon as they're able to complete the network in the whole province, that will be realizable. Medyo uh, nahuli kasi ang because of the fiber optics that came in a little late compared to the other provinces. But uh, we are very bullish in the industries on ICT. That's why our pillars for engines for growth in Bohol uh, we, we call it in a, an acronym, HIT it Bohol, Health, Education, Agriculture, Tourism, and then IT because it's information technology. We call the, uh, uh, our acronym for our development vision, uh, development framework, HIT it Bohol, Health, Education, Agriculture, Tourism, and then Information Technology. So the engines for growth are agricultural tourism, which is actually a booming industry, agri-industrial because it's agri-business, mm -hmm. And then the third leg is ICT. And this is the ICT sector that really uh, is expected to generate more jobs, multiplier effects also. And uh, it's not only the formal DPOs and KPOs, but with the technology, when every citizen educated on the technology, uh, even the rural communities can generate jobs. This is the fastest way for inclusive growth. And uh, you use the technology for marketing products. You use technology for uh, linking to the job market. And even the uh, trained Boholanos with their skills don't have to go out. They can just provide services wherever they are. So uh, for tourists also who comes to Bohol, when they get off the airplane or from the boat, they would know it's Bohol because technology is readily available. Mm -hmm. So that's the dream for Bohol. That's why we launched Digital Bohol. So when are we not off? Uh, well, uh, our fiber optics is moving around now, uh, being put in place. And um, I think today or tomorrow, uh, our Ball Island State University in Balibihan will have its uh, connection already. That is the center of the ICT in the Bohol Island State University system. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's a rural community setting. So we are uh, bringing the technology to the rural communities as well. But even in Tagbilaran, which is the new wave cities, mm -hmm. we hope that uh, we get in the line for the new wave cities because this is the magnet of um, investments and the new airport in Panglao is expanding our urban planning as well. Uh, it's not only in Tagbilaran but also in Panglao and uh, Dawis and the nearby towns. And our old airport in Tagbilaran soon when it will be closed because we are transferring in the first quarter of 2018, that will also be a hub. IT hub. IT hub. Mm -hmm. well, how many, how many <coughs> universities are in the BISO system? We have uh, six uh, campuses of the whole Island State University and we have uh, we have also a uh, the Holy Name University, uh, um, the uh, University of Bohol, and then uh, you have Bohol Institute of Technology, several colleges. The one visited yeah. in Balilihan? Uh, that's a Bohol Island State University campus in Balilihan. That's the youngest uh, mm -hmm. campus of the six campuses of the Bohol Island State. Uh, the BISU was created under a law which I offered when I was in Congress and uh, uh, it's intended to highlight specific specializations in every campus and uh, the, uh, the, the technology hub is in the main campus and then you have agriculture and forestry in Bilar, you have fishery uh, uh, in uh, Kandihai and then you have uh, medical related in, uh, in Kalape. So, so it has identified the uh, key areas. The reason for that is we are linking education to the job market, and we're linking the job market to the development vision. So, the development vision ng Bukol is actually also uh, provided with legislative support. Uh, so, that's how we planned for Bukol in, in about 20 years ago, 1995, 1996. So, we, al we all already said it's tourism, it's agriculture, 
and then lately we said technology has to come in yeah. IT. Yeah. So uh, look, uh, how much will be needed for this uh, whole Nothing digital to be uh, completed? A turn or even in fifty uh, percent or what? How much will be needed? Do you have any uh, private sector partnership? Actually, it's private sector that uh, helped conceptualize this. Uh, there are Boholanos who are now uh, overseas uh, in, in, in the U.S. and who are in the industry. And when they came home, they brought up that particular concept and idea. They are into IT as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, the technology, uh, of course, will be largely influenced by those who had, have expertise already from outside. So the Boholanos. Uh, that are well known in the global community on the IT are bringing in their knowledge on the matter and uh, I'm in touch with the uh, department of ICT. Uh, the director is here, we were together because we were launching the Tech for Ed. So we call it the Tech for Education or Tech, tech for Economic. for Education and Development. Uh, we call it Tech for Ed, Tech for Education or Tech for Economic Development. So we can be okay. <laughs> okay. 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 So uh, it's it's pretty exciting. Uh, yes, sir. yes, Doc. Uh, I think any discussion of the whole would uh, not leave out what happened two or three years ago. The, the earthquake. earthquake. I think everybody came in to help. Everybody, everyone was a yes. was a buhulano by then. Yes. So how did you manage God to? Lift up the spirits of Buholanos, uh, infrastructure coming in again. Uh, have have you completely um, reshaped on that book? Well, uh, first on the question of uh, how did we inspire the people at the height of the disaster? Day one, after the disaster, whenever issued statements that will dump in spirits, we always talk of the positive. Yeah. When media was asking us uh, day one, what's what's going to happen to your tourism? Uh, after this disaster. Mm -hmm. My quick answer then was, uh, even in Europe and in other places, ruins are attractions. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> and so I, and I think one, my right? second answer was, yeah. when God closes a door, he opens several other windows. Yeah, so that's all, all positive yeah, statements. Yes, yeah. And then I said, uh, uh, there are new landmarks in Bohol that, yeah. uh, that are effects of the disaster, geological formations, mm -hmm. and we are not losing attractions. We are being added with new attractions. Uh, so the uh, uplifted land in Maribohok and Loon, which is 400 hectares, is beyond uh, human imagination. So instead of reclaiming 400 hectares, God has given you another 400. <laughs> and uh, you're even the sinkholes are attractions. Yeah. Even the chocolate hills, uh, some of them that were broken into half due to the earthquake were marvels to the geologists because they were able to study what's inside. Uh -huh. And Bohol is being nominated for the uh, UNESCO's uh, heritage. heritage. Uh, yeah. so, uh, so many things are happening. And uh, because a lot of people are helping, uh, all of you were helping Bohol, and the Boholanos really also had a fighting spirit. Uh, the recovery was not a difficult task, although we went through real pains in bringing up uh, the, in, in putting back the lives of people. Uh, but our indicators of recovery were uh, rising figures in, uh, in terms of investments. The, it quickly uh, recovered, and uh, our economic fundamentals are, are very encouraging. Uh, and uh, our uh, growth in the tourism industry has bounced back quickly. Mm -hmm. And uh, day one, I was also saying that this is only temporary. Mm -hmm. uh, tourism is a very resilient industry that has been proven worldwide in any country where you had some uh, threats as an effect of natural or man-made disasters, tourism has always bounced back quickly. It happened to Bali, it happened to Phuket. Yes. Uh, I was there one month after the disasters when I was chairman of the House Committee on Tourism. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were trying to learn on the recovery uh, aspects, uh, wh what they did. And uh, uh, in Bukol, we simply uh, implemented what has to be done in the area of disaster response. But at the same time, we had a cluster that was really assigned to uh, a quick recovery. Uh, that means from the uh, gathering of data on the damage and then the 
quick uh, drafting of the recovery plan. Uh, we were able to come up with a recovery plan two months after the earthquake, and we were able to submit to agencies of national government. The international community was here. Uh, they worked with us closely, so we held meetings every four o'clock in the afternoon, combined national, provincial, local, and uh, international. So even the international workers were working within our structure. So we did not find it difficult to coordinate with them. So the reporting was, was done quickly. And I think uh, uh, the investors community uh, has helped us a lot, our infusion of uh, investments here in the province in all these aspects, tourism, related investments, and then uh, the uh, agriculture side and eco and uh, uh, agribusiness. And this time also the interest that is growing in the area of uh, information technology. So. Oh, we also have with us Angelo from Rappler. Hi. 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 Yeah, good afternoon. Thank you for visiting the <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and for covering the events. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Always our pleasure. Bob, you have a lamp? Well, uh, in, in every development, uh, Bob, in every prosperity that uh, everyone can uh, aspire for, uh, especially this digital uh, age, digital revolution, uh, you, you need people, you need everyone to be uh, on board. Yeah. So, how are you going? How are you preparing the people? Not everyone could go to school. So, how are you preparing this? Uh, people in the lower bracket uh, of society go uh, so that they will be able to be included in the digital uh, We world. just launched uh, uh, yesterday uh, Tech for Ed. Uh, it's very interesting because it dovetails with our original plans, even without naming yet. It was just in our vision that, that every community uh, must have the opportunity to learn about uh, the technology. Uh, you don't have to go to the formal schooling to be able to teach. Even uh, fourth-year students or students uh, in, in high school who are already uh, very much in the in the, the uh, technology ca can teach the even the even the senior citizens to add spice to their lives by using their the new technology. You know, there are studies that uh, the longevity, especially of senior citizens is also being enhanced by new uh, experiences day after day. Meaning, mm -hmm. when they have some challenges for the next day, mm -hmm. like watching TV or their telenovela, it adds to inspiration to the senior citizen, mm -hmm. aside from communicating with their children who are abroad or overseas. Mm -hmm. So uh, by, by using technology from senior citizens to young people, even to uh, out-of-school youth, or even to people who are not employed, mm -hmm. or even to people who are self-employed. Mm -hmm. They may be just uh, farmers, but when they have products that they have to sell, they can use the technology. They may be craftsmen mm -hmm. who can uh, do very good uh, wood carvings or, or chairs, tables, and all products that they have in the rural community. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use technology to market and send it out. The rest of the world will see it. And, and uh, people who are also uh, has the gift of doing things that are not normally uh, available in other areas. When they use the technology, they can be hired right there. They don't have to leave the place. So this is a new revolution of new opportunities that uh, should not only be limited to people who can speak English well and yeah. use voice. There are so many other opportunities in the technology that can be used. Sa tourism, gano po kalaki yung naging tulong niya? Yung technology, gano kalaki yung naging tulong niya sa tourism? Sa ngayon, pasimula pa lang kami kasi nahuli kami doon sa doon sa information highway. Okay. Because of the fiber optics na nahuli kami sa pagpasok ng fiber optics dito. Tapos na yung around Bohol, pero yung Bohol hindi nadaanan ng fiber optics. Kaya, kaya ang ginawa namin, uh, since the time that I assumed as governor, we pushed so hard on the on the on the technology. So we now that we are connected, now that we have the uh, information uh, system, then uh, we pushed also in being included in the in the league of uh, those who are in the industry. That's why mm -hmm. we set, we strengthened our ICT council. We uh, collaborated strongly with the Chamber of Commerce. Our private sector are very bullish people also in this area. So it's. Mm -hmm. It's private sector and government sector working together, uh, and uh, we go from one 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 venue to another to 
to make sure that Bohol is felt and our interest also is felt. So we just wanted to uh, impress on the industry people that Bohol is ready mm -hmm. and uh, we are very, very interested to be in the major league of players and uh, we are ready to do what is required to be in the industry. And uh, uh, beyond uh, the normal ways of doing things, we want to say digital Bohol because we want it to be an open opportunity for everyone. We want it to uh, cascade and uh, bring the benefits uh, even to the rural communities where uh, people normally in poverty will have an opportunity to find new uh, opportunities uh, for, for, for business, for, for, for jobs, or for networking. So and, na po yung infrastructure? Sa ngayon, uh, it's, it's slowly being completed. Okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, the telcos are committed and when they saw us that we are very interested, mm -hmm. they are also putting in their presence more. So, <laughs> yeah. At least we're happy that they're talking about us. Wow. <laughs> May estimate po kayo kung anong year na masasabi yun, ah, kompleto na infrastructure na namin ngayon. Ah, the, the, the telcos can provide you the, the data and the information. Okay. They have a roadmap. They have, they have timetables uh, for that. Uh, but we are pretty excited. We launched it. With the uh, president of PNDP and Smart, your president, Lobby is helping also. Uh, so, yeah, the telcos. The telcos. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So, a lot of uh, interesting things.